None. Okay, you're live. All right, welcome to the Hampton Beach Village District Monthly Meeting. It's November 9th, 2016. Can we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. We announced that we were going to have Jason and Diane and everybody to talk this, this week, this month. Uh, but they weren't quite ready for us. So they are going to come in December. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. So we'll have a discussion on the flood plans and, and the rating system, and hopefully we'll be more up to date. Um, so that, that should be an interesting meeting. Uh, we're going to start off talking about the parade. Uh, we all set with the parade. We have uh, the Continentals are going to be on the our the Buckley hey, float. The float. The Buckley float. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it looks like someone's done a little damage to it, so we're gonna have I, to I, I, fix it. Uh, it's me fix it, Glenn. Fix it. Thank you, Glenn. Is that what happened? And it will be drifting. You were working on it. Did they give you a no, tools blocks. to use? I'm a little nervous. <laughs> and they will be. Uh, um, Glenn will be driving. He'll be driving to eliminate any possible the, problem with the, the new vehicle. village district truck. Yes, yes. My Donated by be them. Very careful. <laughs> We got, yeah. We're going to have to hook up All right, so when are we going to have to do a little bit of decorating? Have we figured out yes. dates or times? And we're we're going to do a little... I'll bring the hot cocoa. Okay. Good. Maybe. I'm in. When is it? I didn't have that last year. <laughs> I don't think you Did you bring it last year? I wasn't. I know you because... You were there. You were on vacation. I was Again. running all over the place. Oh, Nobody, Nobody invited him. Oh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, so so we, we'll decorate? Yep. On one day, what time? Stephen, you get involved in that part? I will... Definitely help again. Just right. like well, we did last year. on Saturday. What, I, what is the date, Glenn? On Friday. On Friday. Yeah. Okay, so that is What the is the date? Right. So we're all set. Everybody knows what they're going to do. Okay. We have to purchase so some stuff. we're going to do it on the second? Yeah. More wreaths and second. things. That's so the Blue Ocean Society asked if they could um, march by uh, next to us. Who? The Blue Ocean Society. Oh, sure. So they're going to be Wait, either behind us or You're going to dress up as like a, a shark or anything? <laughs> They have all sorts of costumes. That, you, you need you need to tell the parade people that. I already, I already oh, did. Really? Uh, oh, that'll be I have, great. So I, I I told the parade people that doesn't mean it's going to be done. Well, we'll see. What the, they have different reasons for different people, different places. So uh, I did let them know. Um, so we'll go from there. The Gina will make sure uh, it gets through for us, right? Well, you just want it. You want it right next to you guys? Yes. Yeah, well, behind us. Or we have a yellow us. truck, too. We have that man, my neighbor there, that has the, he's uh, with us. He and sent his we, application. And, yeah, did we tell them about that? I did. I wrote it on the application, oh. and John Nyan has received it because I sent him an email the other day to confirm. Oh, so it's John's yeah, fault if it doesn't happen. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So Do the Continentals know any sea shanties? <laughs> I can do by I'm the sea, by you, the sea. The Continentals had everybody dancing and singing the whole way down. Huh. Um, and it was great. And the parade is going to be great. They have a lot of different bands coming. They, they're really up to it again. Yeah, it's something new this year. So he's got some new bands. The Bedford said. High Band is oh. coming. The Salem High School Band is coming. That's huh. a big one, too. So that is should it? be good. Uh, yeah, so. Boys from Salem are going to be there? No, they're not there. That, that's great group that we should have on the seashell stage maybe. <laughs> they would never tell me. Yeah, well, I'll get in touch with them. Yeah. So, sooner rather than later. All right, I had anything else on the parade? Mm -hmm. No, was it? I think so. I think we're, but we're all set. We know what we're going to do. I think, yeah, I think, I think we're all set. Right. John and I got to hook up for the generator. Okay, yeah. good. All right, and I got to get a, a hitch. I know I have one somewhere, I, so... I can pull the receiver out of my truck and it should fit right in yours. We'll check it tonight. I think I have one anyway, so if I can just put it in and leave it in. I don't want a ball. I want an open. Oh, all right. Well, then you're all set. I have nothing to do with it then. You're welcome. Except that you own the village district truck. So. <laughs> Which is illegally my... registered now, to him. Can you, <laughs> can you trans get the truck up to the parade? I'll get the trailer up there. Yeah. I you can tell me whatever you want, Glenn, as I long as I don't have to drive it. 
Yeah. Wait a minute. You're Don't talking about it. driving it up to the town hall. Now you've got a spot. Yeah. You were going to bring it now. Yeah. yeah, you tell me where and when, and I'll take care of it. Okay. All right? Yeah. Excellent. All right, so we're going to go... We're going to go to old business, and I, I want to start off with that, and then I'll, um, I've been talking about the sidewalks on Brown Ave, yeah. and um, Regina was good enough to send me some information on it. Rick Griffin sent me some information on it. I went in and talked to Fred Welch about it, and it's not as simple putting a little sidewalk in. Mm. To put a sidewalk in, it has to be ADA compliant, which is fine. but. There is no space on that road for a sidewalk. It, we're talking five feet, and then the, your, the cost was close to $400,000 for that small area. Uh, That's not including something. eminent domain, so taking people's yeah. property. Mm -hmm. So that Which means you take enjoy. the property, they're never gonna be happy with whatever amount, but then I was looking at five feet, and a bunch of those people's front steps would they would lose their front steps yeah, or they would really be close right to, to the road. I just don't think it works. So talking to a couple people, I've had a bunch of phone calls. Um, I'm going to shut this off because you know that will keep going. Um, they're more concerned about the corner. So in the past, they would come down to the corner because they can still walk on the, the dirt. Mm -hmm. or whatever, not, but the road itself, they can be seen. But when they're coming around that corner, people You're talking about the marsh side or the other side? The other side. Yeah. So our side. Right. So we put a fence up last year. So that sent them into the road on the other side of the guardrail. Yeah. So I think we moved our fence back a little bit in the, in the spring, summer, and early fall so they can cut through on the opposite side of the guardrail, so they have some protection. I like it. I think it's uh, very it's good. It's probably the cheapest way. It won't cost the town a, a penny. It's going to cost us next to nothing. And it looks like there's a little pathway. If you stay next to the guardrail, then maybe Mike could line out. And, right, and I think know, that's what... Key. I guess there was issues with um, a little bit of vandalism and stuff like that, and I yeah. think a lot of that is in the off-season. Yeah. So if we close it okay. back up in the winter. I've talked to people, they're like, no one's going to walk through there, in the, you know, and they're not worried about the traffic. Right. So I don't feel comfortable unless they all come and say, oh, we want you to, 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 to sponsor a warrant article. I don't feel comfortable taking people's property away no. or even being responsible for that. That's not our thing. That's the town. If they really want it done, they should go to the town. I was all set to help, do whatever we could do. But I, and I, and I, and I said at last month's meeting, if anybody wants to come talk about it, I'm just not comfortable taking five feet of everybody's front yard. And uh, there's just not a lot of land there. So. Yeah. Okay. There's lots of space. I don't know what you guys think. Um, I, and Unless the 10 houses or 20 houses along that road came and said, we don't care, can you do something? They're going to care. They're going to care. I, I, I wouldn't want it. So they have to cross the street. No, they'll stay on. They stay on that side. Yeah. So they yeah. Can cross so the they cross the street, and then there's going to be a wider area for them to walk down there and around the corner, or is it going to so be? So right now the they, they can walk on the side or on the edge, and it's not the traffic can see them. But when they get to that corner, oh, yeah. they have to walk into the street. Right. So that's, if we pull back our, if we pull back our fence, and they can cut through the front of okay. our parking lot. I like it. So if you're looking at the way the cars park, there is a dead space that the cars don't pull up. The cars don't pull up to the. Um, the guardrail. Yeah. So that space could be a walking space. So I think okay. that's the simplest way. Least and least I expensive. told the people I talked to on the phone, we're not doing anything until uh, till the spring. So if anybody's listening, it's not happening now. We're not doing anything now, but we'll move the fence in the spring. Chuck, um, perhaps <clears throat> you could put, instead of moving the fence, put a gate. Maybe. And, well, the, and the, the reason being that um, one of the problems is that he uses that lot at night for overnight people. And if you had a gate, you could put a sign on it and say, this gate's going to be closed and locked at uh, such and such time. 10. After yeah. 10 o'clock or something, or well, after 9 o'clock. Because the, the people that were in here that walked down to the beach, they're not out at 10 o'clock at night. Well, if they're, going, if they're walking to one fireworks of the restaurants night. or fireworks or something. The issue being, we're not making it a pathway. It's if they want to use it as a pathway, because if we say this is a pathway, then we're responsible for liability-wise. Mm -hmm. And 
They're just creating. We're just so do you think that opening, opening, and if they want to walk through it, is a good idea? Or? I don't think I, I because then why is the gate open and someone got hurt or something? Then they can. So now so, you're causing another problem. So I, I don't yeah. think we want to do that. I, I, just I think, have to agree with leave you. Leave it open. Okay. And and be done with it. Mm -hmm. And that way, okay. if they want to cut through that way, so what do you think, Bob? I don't really have a problem with it as long as we're not assuming liability for it or creating a situation where over time it becomes adversely possessed and we lose the property. I don't think that would happen. Uh, Can you do that from the government? I don't think you could. After 70 years, them using it, it's like the forest lands. Just because you've got a trail on the back of your house. Doesn't and you used it for 15 years does not mean it's yours. No. New Hampshire has a different law. You can't adverse possess municipal property. Right. Like on East Street that just happened. You know, you, people can vote. The town can vote to give it away, but you no. can't adverse possess. It's well, a that, unique New Hampshire you know, law. That solves that issue. All right. It seems we should be here to help people if we reasonably yeah, can. Yeah, that is so dangerous. It, it is dangerous. It's, it's a just, horrible call. It, it is. Yeah. yeah, I've walked it. Yeah, I did the same thing. I took the dog for the walk, and I said, yeah, I don't think I'd want to be in there. Especially if you have a something. carriage and kids. you got yeah. two cars coming around that corner. And, and, and lighting can be tough. Mm. People can't see you. I think we light that up, though, don't we? Is there a light on that? The parking lot is lit. The parking lot is lit, so that's pretty lit in the, in the summer, not in the off-season. Yeah. Right. So that's it on that. Okay. Um, I know you had some old business about you wanted to talk about. What was it? Oh, I forget what it was. Is it the coloring book? Coloring book the coloring book. Yes, we're going to reprint the coloring book and include um, John and his pirate down there. We're going to have a, we're going to change one page, so we're not reprinting the, we're not adding a lot of pages. We're just going to change one page and then reprint. It will be cheaper that way, correct? Yeah. And and the page that we're going to get rid of is the cat, cam, catamaran Hobie, cat. Hobie cats. Hobie cat. Yeah, and then we'll put. Um, Put the uh, pirate in that spot there. So, and then, um, and then we'll reprint up. And, and we'll, we'll just have to have a meeting with Denise. Yeah, but but we're going to have to include in the budget for next year the reprint cost, yeah. right? Absolutely. When we do the budget, we'll put that in. Right we'll now, find there's out only from John well, do we have do we, we have, have money from the other left over from this year that we could do it before the end of the season? I could or look. do we have time to do it before January? Well, we don't have to have it delivered by January. We just have to order it, have it invoiced and paid by January before January. Yeah, we could encumber the money want? if you create a contract. Can you get a? a I I've got a couple of quotes on it. Um, I didn't think to bring them tonight because we were. All right. We have to do Denise first. Yeah. We'll bring them next month, and, and by then I'll also know exactly where we are with the budget. And okay. Can yeah. Say yes the answer or no. to your question is yes. It could be done if there's money to do it. Right. Let's um, let's wait till the next it, meeting, it, and I'll have a report, and we'll know exactly how much money we have. We'll know how much it's going to cost then, you. Right. We need we'll, to talk we'll to have Denise, the cost. and we'll meet with her and have her do the buyers. Yeah. I'm going to shoot a picture of bucks, and I'll just. We'll need so, to pay for right. a phone. Yeah. yeah, right. She, she's, yeah, she's no, that would be a good idea. Yeah, that's good. And she doesn't have to come down. She, you can just, that's a great idea. The thing with the, um, you're doing to take a picture. With Photoshop now, you can actually turn a picture into what looks like the lines. It's just a matter of using one of the filters and then just get rid of the color. So then you have the. John's an expert at marketing and he does this for a living. Yeah. Well, I'm just, I'm just giving that it's out for public information. Color. You know that already, though. Yeah. Yeah, so it's an easy, pretty easy thing to do. It's Not pretty, only the color, very nice. The beauty of the pictures, many times. <laughs> Are they three-dimensional? Yes. <laughs> All right. Is that it on that? I don't know. You have any coloring other book? I think I'm done with that. Is that it, Glenn, on the coloring book? I think so. And then we will we will uh, talk about it next. Just moved up the agenda in December. <laughs> I know. Well, we, we can I'm get to you. Yeah. Um, so December, we'll talk about it and put it into this year's. If we business. have the money, right, and we'll know by then. Okay, yeah. great. Bob, do you have any old, any, uh, old business? <clears throat> the people who will be coming in December to discuss the community rating system uh, did announce at a meeting they had in September that they had acquired over 1,100 points. 
Now, you need 500 points to go from a class 10 to class 9, and an additional 500 points to go to class 8. They don't know if FEMA will accept all the accrued points, and that's kind of where it's at. So it's getting very close to happening, and hopefully they'll be able to um, put a, shed a little more light on it in December. The Rockingham Planning Commission had a legislative meeting tonight, which they had to go to, which is the reason for the continuance. Who should myself and Max get a hold of to get more in depth of what they're going to be talking about? Because I'm going to have Max write a story. Okay. okay. He, I would start with the town planner. Town planner? Yeah. And he may refer you to Julie, Judy LeBranch, who's Julie. The, Julie LeBranch, who's the Rockingham Planning Commissioner. Uh, employee assigned to this project, and she really is spearheading it. She. Yeah. That way, I can get some information. Get yeah. And and if we get the two the two points, the nine to the eight or whatever, um, isn't that like a fifteen percent discount or something like that? Or? Each grade is five percent. Okay. Each five hundred points puts you up a grade and reduces the premium on primary property by 5%. So right now we're looking at maybe a 10% reduction in premium for primary property owners. And again, I stress this every single time, this is not just Hampton Beach Village District. This is the town of Hampton. So we went into partnership with the town of Hampton. We, we did some funding with them. And uh, this is definitely a town-wide issue. It's definitely uh, definitely worth it. The more that can be done, the more that everybody that has flood insurance can save. So it's very important. All those people over by Taylor River. You don't Taylor think, River, yeah. You know, it's, they're two miles from it, but mm -hmm. that backs up and... Yeah. Charlie? Yeah, when you said Jason was supposed to be in, they're going to come maybe next month? Yes. Is that specifically talking about the flooding? They're going to be talking about getting in the community rating yeah. system. Are they going to touch on... Accessory dwelling units and all? That wasn't the reason for coming here, but uh, it's kind of an open meeting yep. if you wanted to I, I get into that. I don't know how many that. members of the board or the, or the meeting here are familiar with the law, but it was passed at a state level and it takes effect June 1st, 2017. And the planning board is not working on it, and there's a meeting coming up on the 16th. But I watched one meeting, I'm not sure what it was, the first week of November, and they were talking about raising my. I'm, I'm in the middle of the Marsh Clay path. And they were talking about the accessory dwelling units, where they're going to do them, and then they mentioned freeboard. So I called Jason. I said, "What do you mean by freeboard?" It was lifting up the grade a foot. And then they were talking about the points. I mean, this is all new to me, too. So for the ratings that you're talking about, well, and I guess that's you know you have a base elevation of nine feet, and they're going to like bump it up a foot in the zone that I'm in. But they're also going to you know have accessory dwelling units in different different zones. It may not be allowed, but the planning board's in the middle of writing this stuff now, and then we'll hit the ballot and we'll go before the selectman, and then it'll hit the ballot. So I didn't know if he was going to touch on that at all. He so, might touch on it peripherally, but if you come, you can certainly ask him. That's kind of a somewhat complicated issue because they're trying to sort out what is an accessory dwelling unit, right. and it has to be attached to the original unit. It can't be a freestanding separate property. Um, it's going to be worked out, and I'm delighted to hear they're including the floodplain as part of the texture of deciding how to write that zoning change. Um, as it's written, I believe, well, but uh, they can be detached structures unless the town adopts some zoning. Yeah, it seems the, the but bias. State level is allowed. But from what I understand, the town is tilting toward not wanting to allow a separate property, then you go into setbacks and all the rest of it. It gets somewhat complicated. Mm. But it should be good, though, as far as providing a lot of necessary housing. Yeah, there's there's a social good as long as it can be worked out rationally. Exactly, I agree. Anything else? Nope. Yep. All right, so new business. Um, we have... Uh, New Year's coming, so that's, we'll talk about it next meeting, but we have New Year's Eve, we have the fireworks, and, the light. and John yes. has yes. lights Strong going on, 
Um, Blue Ocean has offered to um, host the hot chocolate and coffee and cookies and whatever we come up with. Uh, so is that being donated? Do we know where it's come from? Are we buying it? What are we doing? We don't know yet. Okay, fine. So, but it they're going to they're gonna staff it and make sure it's... That's great. Thank you. They'll offer it again, which is awesome. Um, so high school singing thing, do we know anything? Have you heard anything further? Nothing further. The the la I'll, I'll send them another email. Then the last we heard, the high school choral group would come and sing seasonally appropriate music at the shell prior to the shoot. That'd be great. That'd be nice. Has anybody that does the bell thing around here? I remember that was kind of cool. They're doing it at the church of town, but yeah. anybody yeah. have any connections there? Maybe we could do something. You, you missed the Sacred Heart. Well, I don't do it at Sacred Heart. Though. <laughs> you know, I might have one question. I think it's the uh, the one. Congregation. The, 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 yeah. Where one is across it? from the library, they have bells. That would be kind of neat. Does anybody have an, a contact there? That would be kind of neat to do. You know, I was just going to mention something. Glenn, they take all those lights down from the stage, right? Is there any light other than those? Oh, yeah. Okay. So they won't John's going to have... I know they'll have the laser light, thing. Laser laser lights. Lights. Those little boxes. Oh. They do have some lights. Yeah. Okay. I think there's more than enough light to illuminate. We can all hold our phones up. Well, no, I just wanted to, you know, I want to make sure they're not going to be in the dark singing. Yeah. Okay. It's better light. One little we've kid. Got, we've got something that John wants to project into the canopy. That's pretty cool. I know. That's a laser show. So if if oh, yeah. they want, if they great. can't do it, then maybe that's something we should look into finding someone that wants to do something like that. It's great exposure. It'd be great to have the kids there, the families there. I think it would be super. And you're looking into a fogger for the following year? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let me do a medley of my hits on the stage. We could have you singing. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. You know, she's always telling us about how to sing. Hey. the cello. Jesus Christ. I don't have a cello now. I'd have to I'm sure we could get you one. Oh, oh thanks. <laughs> Save some money in my advertising budget to push that one out. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> what makes you think I wouldn't charge you? <laughs> <laughs> Send us an invoice. Yeah. There you go. We'll, we'll, Stephen we'll, will pay we'll, it. We'll, 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 we'll file it. <laughs> <laughs> invoice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Any other new business? <laughs> are we done on that subject? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So fireworks are at what time, John? That's going to be 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. So hopefully we'll have good weather. Great weather. And the fireworks people are going to follow his instructions and not drive into the murk down there and be stuck, of right? Of course, they'll never do that again. Never, never do it again, only twice. Oh, three um, times. Three times lucky. Uh-huh. Well, if they don't, they do at the cave. You, uh, you can go on the beach at the cave, which you happen to plate your tire. Yeah. Oh, I didn't That's Nauset Beach, yeah. They do that yeah. in Nauset Beach, yeah. And, and then, actually, they have an air pump. Yeah, right there. At the, I've been there, yeah. You go to other beaches? I do. Oh, my gosh. Um, it's research. Oh, it's research. Oh, excellent. you got to take a loyalty off. <laughs> she hasn't submitted the invoice for that? <laughs> <laughs> she would never do that. Any other new business? No. No, I don't think time. so. No, not. We're going to wait on uh, approval of minutes to... Uh, next meeting. She has a conflict. She has what? She has some other meeting she has tonight. School board meeting or some yeah. because of elections or something. Yeah. So we're going to wait on that. Yeah. Uh, public comment. Sure. Hi, I'm um, Kathy Silver from the Blue Ocean Discovery Center. And first of all, I wanted to say that I went to a conference last Friday in Portland, Maine, on climate change. It's coming, <laughs> and. Um, all the scientists are very excited about next Tuesday because there's another king tide. And yeah, they, they actually are hoping for a storm on top of the king tide so that we will truly, it. yes, the scientists want this to happen oh, so, so, so that we will all, truly so get the, the idea. The right. Well, tree yeah, so they will get the idea. I mean, so we will truly appreciate what's in our future. So just a warning, those of us at the beach, okay, it's coming again this Tuesday, or actually be, you know, a few days next week. It's going to be tides. Very big. Sunday at 9.30 yep. in the morning. Yeah. And then add 40 minutes, Monday, yep. Tuesday, Wednesday, 30, add 40 minutes each day. Yeah. We're going to have 10 7s, we're going to have a 10 9. Yeah. Tuesday's the big, big one. Yeah. And I did, I went to wow. the Simons meeting, Kathy, the other yeah. day, and I, I 
and I mentioned it so people would be aware of it. Yeah. So Would you explain what a king tide is for people who don't know it? Yeah, what's sure. king? When, well, when the moon and the earth are in a certain lineup perfectly, okay, it's a time when the moon is closest to the earth. And so the additional gravitational pull makes it be an extra big tide. And it, a lower low and a higher high. How often does this happen? Well, 34 years till the next one. It's like full moon, full, yeah. Think of months a day. There, there are spring tides and neap tides every month. A spring tide when there's a full and a new moon, because, and it's called that because the water springs up on the beach. It's got nothing to do with the season. And then there's a neap tide at the quarter moons, and that the neap word comes from the word nip. Old, in Old English, the water just barely nips up on the beach. So you, you, you'll notice not much of a high tide and not much of a low tide. But again, when the moon and the earth are aligned so that they are a, a extra close together, when we've got this new moon and full moon, it's extra. And so that's what's coming. Yeah. And you and if you notice and if you notice the moon it's going to look extra big. It's like uh moon if you struck can tell. the movie. So remember the that? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's yeah, all high during the day this week Sunday. Yes. Thursday. Well, with a full moon and a new moon it's always high at noon. Always. When we get more Kathy we go We get an east wind. Oh. And I looked 10 days out, and right now all yes, the whole week, week. Look, they fear as of now to be north, west, northwest. Now. So that's good because if we get an east wind it's and the rain together, I think it might be the king. You can get an you unbelievable may, The roads will be closed everywhere. Why can't the, is the, is the ocean rough? Yesterday and today, there's no, is there a storm offshore? There must be. There's oh, something. Yeah. It's really rough. It's very rough. I know. Oh. So that was just the warning for next week. Um, the other things we've really already talked yeah, about. Yeah, the dire things happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to talk about the Christmas parade in that if there's anybody out there who'd like to walk in the parade, Blue Ocean would love to have you. Um, we are planning to dress up as ocean animals and carry our banners, and we are hoping that we'll have a sea serpent that blows bubbles. And so uh -huh. <laughs> we need people to walk in that. We'll be handing out gifts for children. So, um, and again, we're hoping to be right near the your flo the Hampton Beach right. float because we figured we belong together. Yep. Okay. So that's December third, and as far as if you want to volunteer for that, just show up at the parade in the morning and find us, and we'll give you something to wear. Okay. I think that's the easiest. Okay. And then the next thing, um, New Year's Eve. Um, again, we will be open. We don't need a lot of people to help, but if there's people out there, particularly if you live on the beach and you want to come in and help serve coffee and hot chocolate and What cookies, time do you open on that? Day? Six. Okay. Give, yeah, it gives us a good two hours. Yeah. yeah. And if it's a cold, cold night, as it was two years ago, okay, we're very busy. Everybody wants to come I in and warm up. Yes. Yeah. And we're very happy to do that. Do you know if the state is going to have the pavilion? I don't know, and I meant to ask that the other night. I asked Brian. I know, I and I Brian. forgot. I asked Brian after the meeting. I said, Brian, you forgot to mention whether you're going to be open on New Year's Eve, and he said that he is. Okay. okay. What do they actually do up there? They also serve uh, some refreshments, some cookies. Is it an open house for people to see it, the pavilion? I is think it is. I think it's an open house to show off the pavilion. An open house, but they yeah. had, they had some crackers and cookies yeah. and some yeah. chocolate or something as well. So. so New Year's Eve at Hampton Beach is the place to oh, be. It is. It's the place to be is right. And Absolutely. Again, the cost. Hey. Nothing. Nada. Nothing. Nothing. And it's so over early. Fireworks. <laughs> idea. Right now we only have uh, 17 dates set up for fireworks, so I don't know if we ha we can do a St. Patrick's. Oh, that was his wife's uh, idea. We blaming Jackie for this? No. no. All right, yeah. I told if we you could get me five restaurants that'll be open for St. Patrick's yeah. Day, then we'll work on it. Did you see the girl who was selling you the shows there? Her eyes, her, the wheel started spinning because I said to her, "Do you have any St. Patrick's Day shows anywhere?" They don't. Yeah. We'll see them in the future. Maybe we'll be one someday. Well, there you go. I don't think so. Can you move that to July 6th? <laughs>
When does the McGurk's does they do their halfway to St. Patrick's? That would be September seventeenth yeah. or so. Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, mm -hmm. right there. It's it was right. Yeah, some of us were present, weren't we? Yes. Any other public comment? Charlie, come on. Yeah, I saw public, you had a comment. Nice. This is October tenth. I didn't know if you guys are going for the rustic view, but I'm a firm believer in lead by example with the municipal property. What is it? I, don't know. I think we need to call the beautification committee and have them uh, yes. figure yeah, something out. The only thing that's changed from that 10 5 to now is the bread racks that have been moved over here. Yeah, end. where are those bread racks from? Anybody know? Yeah, yeah, what is that? I think that's sequels. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Somebody got weeds. Somebody got all their Wonder Bread racks. I'll get rid of them this week. What is that? A picture of? It's, it's, a, it's, it's a mess. That's, that means well, that's not attractive. Well, if we had I not, didn't know if that was the look you were going for. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Charlie. If we had not lost that twenty percent of the parking, we could fix that. <laughs> I'd love to see, you know, we used to have a, an area, and maybe you can think of a spot. We used to have an area where there was a basketball net, and, and um, It'd be really nice because I, I know the kids like it. Now, I guess they so the Happy Hampton, they have a net in there, and it drives the hotel owner next door crazy because the kids are out there playing ball and making all the noise yeah. and driving. Boom, boom, boom. So I don't know where we could put it. It would be nice if we had a spot somewhere. A few years ago, I was trying to talk to see if the state would allow it to have the state park, and the reason was because of the noise. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you, I mean, Everybody's different. Some people hear kids playing basketball and think it's the greatest sound in the world. Yeah. Some people enjoy the quiet of their home and they can't stand hearing the girls. <laughs> the so how you look at it. <laughs> so you, you try to put it away if you can, but at the same time, trying to put it away, you also put a place that's highly visible for safety and you know yeah. vandalism right. issues and, and a host of them. The state park would be great if we could get the state to you know let us give us a little section that we could put it in something there. Something like that, you know. Well, and. 30 something years I've been here, I've never seen the town, the state, and the village district get along so well. So if there's a, this, this is the time to, to get some stuff done. So so if people out there can think of a spot that and they won't be annoyed by the basketball. I don't know how many people in this room have ever seen the basketball court at Tuck Field. If, yeah. you, have, if you haven't yeah. seen it, we'll take a look. It's, it's beautiful. I don't know if we need anything that elaborate. We could just have a half court somewhere, so we don't need a well, big space. I really chuck this out with anything, but yeah. I mean, if people actually saw that court, they could see it. It actually could be a drawer. I mean, I said to Nyan a few years ago, I said, if you had something that nice and eventually it grew and it was lit, you'd get guys from the Celtics coming down, and, you know, and you'd, you'd, you could turn it into an event. Yeah. Anyway, and we had uh, with a half court, Chuck, if we can get it. We, one time we talked about flooding the parking lot and making a nice rink in the our insurance company uh, said, "Whatever you do, don't ever do that." <laughs> so that was uh, that was kind of thrown by the wayside on that. So basketball is a great game because it was a game anybody could play. You only needed a ball. Right. Started in Springfield, Mass. With you know, peach peach baskets. That's for the right. Ball. Yeah. You didn't have to. You didn't have to be rich to play. Anything or anything or anything. I would give a shout out to the town. The management of the election, I thought, was incredible. There was a tremendous turnout of voters. Mm -hmm. It flowed pretty darn well. Mm -hmm. uh, you hear long lines all over the country waiting two hours to vote. Mm -hmm. There was none of that. You were in and out in a very reasonable Did period of time. Did they add on extra uh, we, um, booths? I think it was a record for how many we had. We had over 10,000 and there's 13,000. Yeah, that's good. 
I'll tell you, I, I went late. I went after 10. I was just in and out. It was great. Because I went early. I went about 7.30, somewhere in the, in the lines. And like, yeah. 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 So it was good. The weather was good. It was definitely nice. It was a rainy day that I could have. Yeah. So it was good. People were great. Did we have a record turnout? Did, 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 yeah. did we? Yeah. Like, yeah, I think it was like 10,000. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. And and there was no difficulty for anyone who tried to vote. No. There was nobody trying to interfere with the process no. in any way. Everybody was most helpful. And when you process over ten thousand people, most of which surge in limited amounts of time and do it as well as they did. They really deserve a lot of credit. Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen accidentally. A lot of good planning preceded the day. We have, it was a great job. You said we have 13,000 registered voters? That many, really? Yeah, we were talking so, about that yesterday. Because the town doesn't have, I mean, well, so we better change our census somewhere. We Maybe we'll get some more money. <laughs> yeah. But yes. when you think about it, we get money distributed from the state of New Hampshire for population, so maybe we need a. Well, we were talking about that yesterday. Because I, I, there's obviously more people living here than uh, right, than, the, than the Census Bureau there's says there is. A little under sixteen thousand, but if we have thirteen thousand registered, registered, there's a lot of children in this town. Kids. You just add up the kids in the schools. Sure. I think you could yeah. come up with yeah. over that. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So I would yeah. definitely uh, get on the Census Bureau on that one. Because <laughs> the money from those rooms and meals comes with that population. Mm -hmm. well, well, now that they know where to send the census, the federal government, um, perhaps, you know, since somebody's not throwing it away on us, <clears throat> maybe they can get the numbers right. I'm not throwing it away. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't throw anything away. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, no, good point, definitely. Yeah, so I definitely look into that. All right, any other public comment? When's nope. the December meeting? The date. 14th. What? The 14th. Thank you. All right. So, closing comments. Maureen? No, all set. Bob? No, I just think we all participated in what makes this country so unique the transfer of government at the highest level, peacefully, with millions and millions of people participating freely. It's a wonderful thing to absorb, and it's just, we should all feel pretty good about living here. We may all have various opinions on who won and who lost, but the process worked. Well, I just want to mentioned this month we have two holidays that are very important. Thanksgiving is a day that we give thanks for things we have, but Veterans Day is a day where we pause to thank the people who fought for us for the things we have. So um, on Veterans Day I really want to thank anybody that served in war, out of war, or home, overseas. Uh, I just want to Thank all the veterans, and if you see a veteran, thank them. So on that note... And traditionally, there is a ceremony at 8 o'clock, Friday morning, at the memorial. Excellent. So Friday morning at the Marine Memorial. Right. And don't they do something at the VFW as well? And then later on in the day, they'll, they'll announce the other events for the day, but at least the 8 o'clock uh, ceremony at the memorial. On that note, I'm going to adjourn the meeting at 6.09. 6 Thank you.